Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome back to another FIFA 18 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 82 rated Argentine striker Funes Mori. He cost me 15,000 coins and in the 5 games that I played of him, he scored me 3 goals and got me 2 assists and he does have a 4 star weak foot and 3 star skimmers and getting into his in-game stats for me, his main standout stats are his 88 finishing, his 87 attack positioning, his 81 composure and his 85 agility and guys, getting over to the review for this card. I was fairly impressed with this card considering I only paid about 15,000 coins for him and he's actually decreased by a couple of cases since then it was definitely a reasonable card to buy now obviously in terms of the league the Mexican league isn't the greatest in the world however in terms of his nationality it is quite easy to fit him into a squad and 81 pace 83 shots uh, 82 dribbling and 82 physical on his uh, base card stats looks fantastic for a guy of that price and obviously a very nice card design as well uh, obviously a lot better than his non-informed card but um yeah, getting up though into the pros for this card for me, his first pro was his positioning. 87 attack positioning, as I mentioned before in his in-game stats, was fantastic and came in use so, so often. His positioning is just phenomenal. He makes good runs, which is technically his positioning as well at the same time. Some of the runs that he made, which was just so easy for Del Piero, Overmars, Hanji, uh, just to pass to, was fantastic. He made fantastic runs uh, through like, the defense and stuff like that. And just his positioning in general was very good. You know, he was in the box when you wanted them to be in the box. You know, he was... Uh, um, from like a, a counter attack he was there available to pass to and uh, in general I thought his positioning was absolutely fantastic for a striker and that's definitely what you want. His second pro for me was his strength 82 physical on his base card as well as 80 jumping, 87 stamina 79 strength and 83 aggression. It felt very very good in game. I don't think he's the tallest of players I'm not too sure how tall he is. I think he's Six foot, maybe. I can't remember what his actual height is, but he felt pretty strong for me. And obviously, it's a nice added bonus to have a guy that's pretty strong who isn't the quickest because he could have been a little bit quicker for me. He wasn't the slowest player, but he could have had a little bit more pace. Even with the whole chemistry start, I wanted him to maybe be a little bit more quicker. But definitely, his physical came in use when he had that lack of pace on occasions, which was very, very useful to have. And um, just made that card a little bit more easier to kind of uh, use him with. But uh, in terms of his cons, would you believe this? His finishing is going to be a con for me and his only card. Now, let me explain. Three goals in five games was a very nice return, but you'll see some of the chances that I had. I had so many chances and he just wouldn't finish them and it was not down to my bad finishing today. My finishing today has been very good. I haven't had a problem with any of, uh, any of my other players, but Funes Mori just missed so many good one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And he has 88 finishing and like 81 shot power, which is fantastic. But the problem is that 81 composure. For me, it's not high enough. It's got to be higher. And I think it definitely shows that composure is so, so important in uh, FIFA 18. He just didn't do well on a lot of one-on-one -on -one chances. And I think that definitely had an effect because of his not-so-good good composure. Uh, do I still think he's a good card? Yes, I think he is. Uh, maybe for other people, he might be easier to use than me. Uh, personally, for 15,000 coins, I think he was a pretty decent buy. And I think if I used him more, he would still definitely perform well for me. And uh, I'm tempted to keep him. Um, or I might sell him in order to be able to review a Benega. I'm not too sure. But uh, this card is not a bad card to go for. But... Um, you know, just keep in mind that maybe his finishing might not be up to the best and maybe uh, as well his pace isn't the greatest either. But anyway, guys, I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.